Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceable's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a read. This reading is dedicated to the sign of Aquarius. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest aside. If ever you do have any questions and you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, answer your questions for you. Also, you can find all the information on how to um, contact me, how to reach me, into the YouTube Dropbox. On another note, if you do enjoy the channel and you do enjoy my messages and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click on the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be mostly appreciated. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. So this is a reading once again for the sign of Aquarius. The title is Will Divorce Happen? So we want to know, um, you know, relationships not going all that well. We want to know if this is going to end up into a divorce. So let's turn the cards over and see if, what kind of message we can get for you. So I have the magnifying glass. I have the child have the storks, I also, uh, not the swans, uh, the heart card, it looks like swans, but it's a heart card, have the letter, I have the dog, um, I have the ten of pentacles, I have the two of pentacles, along with queen of pentacles, and the five of pentacles, a lot of pentacles, my dear friend, okay, we're going to begin with the uh, Alice in Wonderland down here, now I do have to say to begin with that this reading, I don't like to wait and so I tell people whenever I see it right away um, that this is definitely not going to go into a positive way. This is going to end up in a, a separation or a divorce. Um, that being said, I do have down here um, a very unhappy home, okay, very unhappy home environment where you're just not getting what it is that you want out of a relationship, out of a home. So what you want out of a relationship is a nice comfy cozy home where you can get to where you can relax where you have a little dog you have a little cat you have this nice big luxurious couch you have pictures of the family up on the wall and this is really what you want kind of a picture perfect kind of uh, relationship here in a home but unfortunately this is really just the reverse of what you are going to uh, get that being said, I do have to say that I do feel, I don't know if you know it or not, and hopefully I'm not the one who's telling you, but I do feel that um, there has been cheating going on into this relationship, and I, I feel as though it is still going on. And um, the other person does know about you, and uh, they're not nice. And this is represented by the Queen of Pentacles over here. Um, they're not nice at all. They do not like you at all. They do not have your best interests at all. And so they are really pushing also for this relationship to be over because, of course, they want the partner just for themselves. But I do have to say that I do not believe that when this relationship is over that they're going to go back to this person. I really do believe that this relationship relationship here is just a relationship of convenience and just sadly the love has seemed to have dissipated and um, the conflicts and everything have just been too much onto, uh, onto your partner here and I feel like they're just not able to juggle both of them anymore. They're not able to do it anymore. It's just too much to go balancing both relationships like that with all the secrets and everything that it's involved. They're not able to do it anymore and this is why they are deciding to end the relationship. Um, I know that you don't agree with it. I know that you're not um, you're not for that. You would like to continue uh, the relationship, and I know that you're not for it with this card here because. Um, the Five of Pentacles is really about being pulled away, being forced away from something. And as we could see onto the card here, there's a door back there and this is being forced away from that door. You want to be on the other side of the door. You want to see what is going on. So that being said, um, I'm going to move up to the Lenormand up here. I feel as though into the relationship here, um, I feel that the partner is being quite childish, okay? Um, I feel as though they're not being um they're not being nice. They are, are 
picking up some conflicts and some fights for no reason just to come and 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 aggravate you know um i feel as though this relationship um as i said uh, you're going to be receiving the the message okay so the um the letter here is to say that you're going to be receiving the message, the news that something is going to happen, that this relationship is going to end. As I said, they're being quite childish. Um, the card here is really a replica, but in a different, uh, not quite a replica, but uh, it's the same message as the Ten of Pentacles over here, but in a different um, deck. So this came out twice. This is really about what you would like to have in a home, what you, what you represent, what is for you a home, a home you know is a place where you're secure a place where you can feel comfortable where you can say what you want where you can do what you want where you can feel accepted um you know so this is the same card pretty much saying the same thing this is really what you do want um i have the uh swans over here with the heart and this is just really saying that uh, the relationship as you know it whatever it is that you want out of the relationship is unfortunately not going to be available um, because of all the conflicts because of all the arguments that are going on within the relationship right now um, that is just not available I do have the card here of a magnifying glass. Now the magnifying glass is really quite intriguing because um, a magnifying glass is there to tell you that you need to look, okay? You need to look closer. What do you need to look closer at? You need to look closer at everything within this relationship. You need to see what is going on. You need to see if you can find any information about, um, about this person here. How long has it been going on? If they're still together? Where did they meet? Do you know this person? Are they in your circle? Often there are people that you do know that are in your circle of friends. Um, why, you know, all these things so you can close, so you can have your closure, so you can close that chapter of your life and so you can move on to a new chapter, happier chapter one where, you know, you're gonna be loved for who you are and how you are and in the amount that you should be loved. Um, Please be careful also with the magnifying glass if ever you do um sell any properties or any legal documents please make very very sure that you are reading them carefully that there is no ambiguity uh, there's nothing um, that is confusing within it make sure that you know everything that you are signing so you don't end up with a bad surprise at the end so make sure you're well uh, represented on that behalf and so this pretty much does um, conclude this reading I do hope that you enjoyed it I hope that I brought you some clarity um, if you do if you would like to have a personal reading you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com uh, in the meanwhile I do wish you a fantastic well I do wish you much courage and much strength um, I hope that you can figure this out if once again if you do have any questions you can contact me um, other than that I do wish you a day filled of blessings thank you for being there and I'll be seeing you soon